Hi everyone, this video is a follow-up to how to add your business to Google Maps in two easy steps. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it now or you can stick around as I am sure you will find it very useful anyhow. So for those of you who have watched it, well done and be ready to learn how to optimize your Google My Business page. Hi there and welcome to another free digital marketing lesson brought to you by rankingacademy.co.uk. My name is Luke Duran and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to optimize your Google My Business page. Having a fully optimized Google My Business page is essential if you want to rank well in Google local search results. It will also allow you to showcase your business by adding pictures, contact details, opening hours and attract customers reviews all in one place. So let's go through how to optimize your Google My Business page. Let's start by heading over to www.google.com slash my business and click on the sign in link at the top of the screen. Log in using the Google credentials you have created for your business. Today I'm going to be using mine, rankingacademy.uk at gmail.com as I have verified my business with a Google card I received through the post. This will bring us to a page that should display my business profile. We should now be on our profile, which we can start completing. As you can see, our profile is currently 55% completed. This is based on the fact that I have partly informed Google about my business when I added it to Google Maps. We want our profile to be 100% complete to maximize our chances to appear at the top of Google search results. In order to do this, we will need a few things at hand. A few images for our business, one image of our business logo and a small business description. But firstly, let's review our current details and complete as many of these as possible. Click on the edit button in the upper right hand corner. The first option is our business name. This is where we can edit our name. We can verify our address along with the accuracy of the pinpoint. In the contact information option, we can see our phone number being displayed, but we are missing our website address. To add our website address, we just need to click on the edit icon and add the address in the website URL field and click save. We can review our category. Remember, this is a very important field and it needs to be as specific as possible. The next option is our opening hours. Clicking on the edit icon will open a pop-up which will allow us to specify our operating hours. We can be very specific and choose different operating hours on different days. Let's say in this instance that we are open every weekday from 8 till 6 and closed every weekend. This is very useful for customers as Google will display the opening hours in its search results. Finally, write a small introduction around your business. Make sure your introduction is crafted with your customers in mind, which will entice them to either call you or seek more information via your website, perhaps. If it is too long, not only they will lose interest, but it could mean that your potential customers may have to scroll down to see your reviews. It can be useful to add links to specific pages of your website that would be useful for your potential visitors, but don't overdo it. Once you have finished with all this, just click on Done Editing. We are now back on the home page of our profile. Looking at the progress bar, we can see that our profile is now 80% complete. We want to hit the 100% mark. To do this, we just need to bring our profile to life by adding some photos. People tend to engage a lot more when they see photos as it gives them a feel about your business. According to Google, Having photos on your profile can increase the number of clicks by 35% to your site. It is therefore really important to choose photos very carefully. Let's have a look at our options. Click on Manage Photo option and let's start with your profile picture. If you were to add only one picture on your profile, which would be a little crazy, this would have to be the one. The reason for this is because Google displays your profile photo pretty much everywhere it can and that includes Google Maps, Google Business Panel, Local Pack Resource, and also that little thumbnail that says people also search for. Google will use your profile image in every one of these scenarios. This means your chosen image 
will be resized or cropped depending on where it is displayed, making it very difficult for us to choose an image that will work everywhere. As a guide, choose an image that will work well in a landscape or portrait. Do not choose an image of your logo or headshot, but rather an image that shows either the exterior or interior of your shop, office, or an image of your product. Choose an image that will work in tiny displays. Think about mobile phones, with the main focus being located on the center of the picture. And despite our best efforts, sometimes Google will use a different picture anyhow, if they feel there is a better option available. Still, it's better to give ourselves the best chances. So let's go ahead and load the picture that I've prepared earlier, which hopefully will work in most scenarios. Click on the profile icon. You'll then have two options to load your picture. Either drag a picture in the middle of the screen or simply select a photo from your computer. Once your picture is loaded, you will be able to either resize it or recenter it. That's one photo out of the way, let's move on to the others. The next one is our logo. This one should be straightforward. Make it a square as it is recommended by Google, so it should be 250 by 250. Moving on to the cover photo. This one will be used to showcase your business on your Google profile. The recommended size is 1080 by 608. All we need to do now is to add other images in the different categories available to us. Interior, exterior, photos at work, team photos, and any editorial photos you may need. If you are unsure about what these photos should look like, simply click on the See Example icon in each box. You should see a pop-up with examples of what type of images are expected and a couple of tips which should give you some guidance. All categories combined means you can add up to 17 images. Although it may sound a lot, I would recommend you load as many as you can as it is a great way of showcasing your business for free. Once you are done with adding all the images, click on the home link on the top left hand side of the screen. This will take you back to the home page of your profile. And check this, your profile is now 100% complete. Bravo, you've done it. You've completed your Google My Business profile. Hopefully, this should convince more customers to come and pay you a visit. Treat them well. You want your customers to post some positive online reviews about your business. This will help boost your rankings further. For more information on this topic, check my video called How to Get Online Reviews. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. For exclusive content, visit rankingacademy.co.uk and I'll see you very soon for another free digital marketing lesson brought to you by me.